Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ree. Today I'm going to be showing you styles for people with short locks. You see my locks do not touch my shoulder. I am, I always forget, hold on. First, let me check my counter, which I don't know where I'm at. I have been locked for 241 days. I got locked January 31st, so that is February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Today is September 30th. So tomorrow it'll be nine months. And I am feeling this length. I'm feeling this length. I've been able to create some styles, wear some styles, and I'm loving it. So that's what I show you in today's video. And if you can't tell, this is one of the styles. I I'm gonna show you times where I use like little shells like that I'm gonna show you times when I put uh, I didn't do any styles where I put like these butterfly clips but these are just some things that you can do to spice up your lock I like these little balls I like these little clips right here all this stuff you can get from the beauty supply store um, what else Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go check out some of my other lock videos. I'm, I am documenting my lock journey. And when I get discouraged and I go back and look at my old videos, it is literally, it takes me from low to high. It takes me from low to high. So even if you don't have a YouTube channel, document your journey with pictures because when you think your hair is not growing and you look at those pictures, it becomes more than apparent that you are growing daily. You're growing daily. You're with yourself a lot. So you feel like, oh my gosh, my hair has just been this length forever. When is it gonna get longer? Da 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 da. And you may be comparing yourself to other people. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Everyone's journey is unique. My hair type, if you've seen any of my lock update videos, I mentioned that my hair type is 3C and like 4A in the back. I do have looser texture in the front, in the top here, than I do in the back. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Let's get into this video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is the first style, real simple just down the only thing i've done for this style is you know add a little decor let's get into the second style so i'm going to take the hair in the middle and pull it up into a ponytail and this is not an edge tutorial so that's why i sped through this part but if y'all want an edge tutorial let me know see how i lay my edges with my locks for me a style is not complete unless i lay my edges but that's just personal preference. Here you see me taking some shell jewelry, adding it to a bobby pin, and I'm gonna add it to the bottom of my ponytail to put a little spice on it. For me, it's all about the spice and accessories. Once again, the accessories are totally optional. This is just something that makes me feel like my locks look more exciting. Now this is probably one of my go-to hairstyles and it's simply two ponytails and down in the back. Quick, easy, go-to style. I love the way it looks on me personally. And it was actually one of the first hairstyles I ever was able to do with my locks.
Okay, here you see me giving that first twist a little, little work and I'm adding some color edge control because I do have a spot on my side that the hair is kind of thin. So I like to add color edge control just to make it look sleeker, totally optional. Okay, style number four. Oh y'all, this one I just literally discovered the other day. I didn't even think I was able. This style is two ponytails. And of course, as you can see, my hair is short, so all the locks don't fit into the ponytail holder. So what I do is I grab as much hair as I can, put the ponytail holder on, and then whatever does not fit in the ponytail holder, I will bobby pin up so it gives the illusion of two ponytails and you can do this neatly you can do this messily you don't have to do it at all it's up to you as you can see i don't care too much about it being neat or i would have did maybe i would have pinned one lock at a time Okay, now this style I like really like as well. It's two ponytails in the top and then bayangs. Now you can leave the bayangs just like this. You don't have to do anything to it. But for me, I wanted to spice it up a little bit. I took the locks and wrapped it around the ponytails, both of them. Put a little extra flare on it. And as far as the bayangs, I pulled them back and pinned them so they were a little shorter. I could have left it like this, but you know, I just wanted to do a little something else. Okay, for this hairstyle, as y'all can see, I don't have long hair, so a swoop is a little bit of a challenge, but I don't let that stop my show. We're gonna swoop it on over and use some bobby pins. Simple, just like that. And then we put one ponytail at the top and leave some down, and that's the style. Once again, you already know what I'm about to say. You can add any hair accessories you want. If not, then you're good to go. Okay, style number seven. I'm gonna keep the swoop in the top. Take one ponytail to two ponytails. And that's the next style. Then style number eight, keep the swoop once again. And behind the swoop, we're gonna go across and do a barrel twist. As you can see, I sped this up and it's not that great of footage because this is not a barrel twist tutorial. There are other videos you can find on YouTube that show you how to barrel twist. That's what I looked up to figure it out. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, so. It's not a barrel twist tutorial, but that's what that is. An attempted barrel twist behind the swoop, and then we put two ponytails, and that's the style. Super cute. Okay. 
the last and final style we have arrived and we're barrel twisting again once again this is not a barrel twist tutorial please go look up barrel twist and you can learn how to barrel twist too but for this style we're going to take a barrel twist on each side and then bobby pin it so it stays so two barrel twists to the back I did the other one off camera because I realized I was messing up. Then you're gonna grab the first barrel twist into a ponytail and the hair on the side that you didn't put in the barrel twist, you're gonna grab that up into the ponytail as well. And we're gonna leave some hair down and the hair in the back down. This is one of my favorite hairstyles right now that I'm currently wearing. I literally have it right now. Gonna spray it with some water, then tie it down. I would say for five minutes. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I probably left it on two minutes. I got a little impatient. I was ready to show y'all. But I would say, you know, get a little crispy tie down for about five minutes. The longer, the better. And this is the style. Okay, y'all, and this is the very last style. I also wanted to mention that all these styles that I've showed you today are no retwist friendly. You don't have to have just had a retwist to do these styles. I did not just get a retwist. Now, to be honest, I don't remember when I did my retwist. This was the first time that I did my own retwist. The last few retwists my mom had been doing for me, but let me look at our text thread because then I can tell you when I did my retwist. Okay, today is September 30th, and I did my retwist on September 20th. So I guess, I. I mean, it ain't brand new. I did a retwist like 10 days ago. So I knew it was kind of, I knew it wasn't too far off. So it seemed like I did my retwist on the 20th. Yeah, so I did my retwist on the 20th, but this is not, these are not styles that I gave you that you have to do a retwist. Feel free to do what works good for you. It's about the flair you put on it. That's what I want you to take from this video. It's about the flair. It's about your own personal style and uniqueness because you can take a simple style and elevate it. You can elevate it with your own style, with hair jewelry, hair accessories. I want to thank y'all for coming by my channel and checking me out, checking out my log journey. Please drop your request down below. I want to step out because I have been trying to find styles for short locks and i honestly haven't been finding anything i looked on tiktok i saw a few things but i was just like mm, it's giving i need to just get creative and see what i can do because for a long time i was just i mean i remember when i first was able to put the little locks up there like i was like oh snap the girl didn't got a style i'm pretty sure that's in one of my lock update videos so definitely go check those out you can see how far far my hair has come since January, like I said, the end of January is when I got my hair locked and now we're at the end of September. The growth I could be happier with. I love to see my hair changing, my locks changing. I love to see them budding and getting thicker. It's a, for me, it's a transformative process, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, along with physically, like physically seeing my hair change, so. My life has definitely been changing along with my hair. Let me get out of here. I ain't, I ain't wanna hold y'all too long. Hopefully I didn't hold y'all too long. And I'ma see y'all in the next one.